hello 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 everyone it's kanisha with currency queen budgets and this video i wanted to show you guys how i stay organized on the go if that is something that you're interested in stay tuned All right, so you guys know that I am a huge planner girl. I do have some videos where I will, I actually did a planner setup. I will link that video up here and you all can go back and watch how I actually set up my planners. But um, I carry a planner everywhere I go and they're just like, they're huge and I just wanted something small and something that's customized to what I actually need on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so what I did is I actually created um, planners to take with me on the go that without being so bulky. So, <clears throat> so what I have today, I am going to do a quick uh, flip through through my A6 and my A5. First, I want to start with my A5, and we'll do a quick flip through. Most of everything in this, um, in this that I created. <clears throat> so I have here my actual. It's just a little bookmark here, and then I have um, my manifestation money here, which is a thousand dollars that I keep with me, and then I have some stickers here from Planner Kate. I haven't made any um, stickers for myself that I that I actually want to use for my planner. I haven't made any to go in here as of yet, but I will get on to get to that. This right here is a couple of dashboards that I I was playing around with, and I made this. This is transparent. It's just my name, how to pronounce my name, then a definition of my name, which is one with beautiful eyes, diamond, and sunshine. That is the meaning of my name. This is an actual um, dashboard that I purchased from the Planner Press. I do have the subscription for her digital dash box. Her digital dashboard, how is it? A digital dash box. I, I forget. I forget the actual name of it, but I will um, link it across the screen. Put the name across the screen, um, and I will also drop the link to her website as well, so you can, uh, if y'all want to purchase this dashboard. And then I just have some sticky notes here that I just take around with me. And then my favorite, my anime, I love animes. Um, and I did create this dashboard here. And then I was playing around also and I made a clear pocket here. I'm not sure what I'll actually keep in here. Uh, my thing that I was thinking when I first made it was I wanted to actually drop my dashboards in here without having to punch holes in them. But I noticed that my dashboards are actually kind of Mm, just you know it's tight when it go in there so I will have to cut them down and I haven't just got around to actually doing that and then I have um, a transparent divider here that I purchased from Amazon and I will link that below it's a5 size as you guys know I mean my a5 and then this is a dashboard that I made myself and it's just um a to-do list now I haven't organized this exactly how I want this to actually sit in my planner but it's just I just want to do a quick quick um, flip through before I actually got started in in this planner so um, the next thing I will go to is these pages I actually personalize these for myself I just put my name here and then put um, my girl here sitting on this pink cup just to match my planner and I have those and then I actually did some without the to-do list just plain here so um and the next thing we go to is in my calendar and this is also transparent here and I actually make this dashboard here myself as well and I just actually put um washi tape on here just to give it a little sass 
just a little bit of sass not a whole lot but just a little bit and um here oh here because i forget that this is here here I have, let me switch this around because those magnets get stuck. I purchased these magnets from Ollie. I will actually um, drop that Etsy shop down below in the descriptions. But here I actually had a um, misprint. I printed this on one of my printers. Then I went back and I printed this side, the same thing on another printer. And it actually kind of misprinted and the print stopped right here for some reason so what i did was i went and got my washi tape and i just kind of covered that up you can still kind of see that flower through there if you actually look closely and my butterflies over here so i just took some washi tape and i just covered covered that up this is another um another divider and my all these are getting stuck together. Okay, and then I actually have a planner routine. I printed this one on Valium, and this is just everything that I plan on doing. This is another dashboard that I created just to go behind this, and I think that actually looks really, really pretty together. So I'll know what I need to do on a um, for my yearly, my monthly, my weekly, and my my daily. And um, this was inspired by Elaine Michelle. Yeah, Elaine Michelle. Um, I got this from her from YouTube. So I created me one because I thought it was kind of neat. It was it's really neat. Um. And then this one, isn't she cute? She's so cute. I, she is like my favorite that I've did. She's like really cute. And this is um, laminated as well. Um, and then I go into my, my monthly spread. Now this came in, it's undated. And I will have these on my Etsy store. But what I did is I took some washi tape and I actually um, put it here instead of putting a month up there because a lot of times on my regular planners I'll cover up the month and put a sticker there you know but I didn't have any stickers wrote um, printed out so what I did I just I'm just gonna only have one month in here so I know what month it is but I'll have my washi tape to actually go with the actual month and then um, this silver here is actually washi tape too if you all can see that and then I added these stickers here these stickers are from happy planner and then as well as these icon stickers as well now I don't write on my monthly at all in any of my planners let me get let me grab one of my planners so I can show you guys So this is my June layout um, for this planner. And as you guys can see, I really don't write in it. I just put my stickers here. And if it's a sticker there, I know that that is something that I actually need to go and um, go and look at. I know I have something planned for that day. So what I'll do is if I got something here, I'll just flip to the ninth and see what is there i don't have anything written down on these layouts yet because i want to do the this video first before i put anything personal on here and then this is actually the dashboard to the back of my layout is being broke as childish and i'm quite grown and there is a quote from jay-z as you guys can see i put that there and then here and then this is another to-do list um this will probably be kind of like a doodle or you know, as you can see, I put, you know, some stickers, added stickers here. And I'll write in whatever I need to do. Like, some, my priorities will probably go here. I'm not sure yet. And then, um, here is my weekly layout. As you guys can see, I already started putting my stickers in for my bills. Um, and this, this, and then, and this is the next week. And then I actually did a, um... I guess I would call this a planner mark instead of a bookmark. 
this is my planner page mark and I put the holes in it to actually keep it in place. That way, if I have this closed, I can actually just find her head here that's sticking out. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. So I can actually just go here and then flip to <clears throat> the week that I want to go to or the week that I'm actually in. Um, But I have every week and then I have my birthday marked already, which is August the 16th. And I have my um, bill due, and then I have to put my paydays in here. But I left this blank for the purpose of the video. And then back here, I have my notes. I have another divider here, which I have to make um, my words and put them here. There'll be probably some clear stickers. So here <clears throat> is my inbox section. And guys, I am so obsessed with the the clear dashboards i love them so i this is my inbox and i actually made an extra divider and i made an extra dashboard and just kind of clipped this on here so this actually kind of go together i think she's very very cute so i'm gonna put that back there um and i do have some some die cuts that i made to actually go onto my my paper clips i just went blank i'm i don't know why i just went blank then i have another divider and then i like i said yeah i love this transparent um this is just the end um i have one that says and she conquered her fears but i just wanted to leave it in because she is sassy like in what in what yeah ain't she cute beautiful so this is my goals section. And then here I have um, my goal sheet. I purchased this from, I can't remember where I purchased this from, but I actually um, put gold digger up here. I printed this on here to make it, you know, more personal for me. And then I have, actual note sheet you know my personalized note sheets and these sheets will be on my etsy store uh, for you guys to go and order those and then i have my section for my self-care just self-care how to pronounce it and then i have the definition here um and then i made this personal for me because i am enough i actually put an affirmation behind my self-care and i think you know i think this goes very well y'all and looking at this y'all i really love it isn't she beautiful it's beautiful like i love it together self-care so i actually wrote you know some things out so this will probably i will have like a more of a journaling section for that um and then to get to my beauty here this is uh, another transparent divider. Y'all look at her. Ain't she cute? I'm just gonna let y'all, I'm just gonna sit this here for a minute and let y'all look at it. Let me raise it up some. Y'all look. She beautiful to me. I don't know about y'all, but I just think she beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And I don't think I would ever take her out, switch this out from month, month to month. I did put her on a transparent. As you guys see, like I said, I love my transparent. And I actually, um, what the little quote right here, girls just want to have fun. And I just put, you know, budget right here. And see, look, she still look cute. Even if I covered up the words, y'all look at her. She still look cute. I think she's going to be my signature um, doll here for this. So let's get into this budget section. As you guys know, I have my budget by paycheck and I just pulled out some of those forms and put them in here and I actually laminated it because I didn't want to have to keep on printing those off. So I can just write on here with my Sharpie and then wipe it off at the end of the month. So I can keep up with my budget if I'm at work on lunch and I want to sit down and, you know, and do a budget or wherever I'm at, I can sit down and get my budget ready because sometimes I do get busy and I'll get behind on my videos. So that'll help me kind of, kind of stay on top of things. And, and I do, 
um, slit all of my all of my um, dashboards. I put a slit in there so I won't have to keep opening up my my planner here. Um, these will actually be on my Etsy shop, and I actually kind of did like a um, a LV Louis Vuitton background on these so i'm not sure if i want to do these on an insta store or whatever because i don't want itsy to ding me um for using those trying to sell these but yeah these are all in my um what is it called my um my my book i use on budget with me my paycheck my planner by budget by paycheck that's what it is how am i gonna fit my own name of my book um, but I don't have this note section in there. This is the only thing that's not in there. We have our monthly manifestation here, our paycheck tracker. All you need is a Sharpie, um, to fill this out. I actually added some, um, pink pictures here to kind of go with the theme of my, my planner here, my A5 binder. And I split this up. I put the bills and the variable expenses on the front and then on the back i actually added the sinking funds and the extra savings here and then i have my cash stuffing tracker and then a cash stuffing tracker here then i have my weekly expenses because a lot of times i'm out and i can just um once i leave the store i can sit down and i can write it in that way i don't forget because sometimes i do forget to come back and add those weekly expenses in or i'll get a receipt and i'll put it you know, in my wallet or drop it in the purse. So sometimes they put it in the bag and I forgot to get, forget to get it out the bag. So I can just um, stop and write everything down here then transfer it to my uh, budget by paycheck. And then here is my weekly planner. Instead of me, uh, my weekly meal planner, I'm sorry. Um, I can write down, you know, what we're going to eat or what I did cook for that day. And then um, I can just my grocery list and I can just take this out and drop it in my purse and just take this to the store with me or I can just take my whole binder is what I normally do is I'll take my binder and do that so me and the kids we actually sit down and we'll do the meals together and what they want to eat because I do give them an option of what what they do want to eat this right here section is my faceless girl um and this will be for my books that I'm reading. I haven't did the form yet. I haven't printed it out. I have one um, in my planners that I've made for, um, that I've made, cause I do design planners as well. So I will pull out that form and actually print it in. I won't not laminate that um, because that'll just be for the year. So that is that. And then I purchased this folder from Hobby Lobby and then I actually made more bookmarks and you know I'm just playing around with this one this one is kind of a thicker one just trying to see what I like and yes this does snap in here and I made it a little taller so it could stick out as well and these will be on my Etsy store as well um and that is all for this planner i hope you guys like it but this is like so pretty to me but y'all let me go back to let me take y'all back to my budget because she just so stinking cute ain't she cute she's so cute to me but let me go through my a uh my a6 y'all i was just go through my a6 um real quick and it's kind of almost the same thing I made a small envelope. It's like a little cash envelope. I can just put money there and kind of forget about it. I put, just put the dollar in there just to kind of um, get a feel of it. And I just wanted to match it with this um, binder here. So here, here again is another one. This is clear. And this is another dashboard from Planner Press, that was for July. I mean, from Digital Dash Box, that was for um, the month of July. So I just printed that out and I, oh, I forgot I put some gold flakes in there. Can you see those? I put the gold flakes up in that. 
But like I said, I'm so obsessed with the clear, with the clear dashboards. Okay, and then here is for um, she's cute too. I thought she's really cute. This is for my monthly layout, and I don't have anything on here yet. Um, and then here's this, and you know this is kind of similar to what what we just saw. And then here's this self care again, and another dashboard behind it that I made. You know, it just says style and grace with my heels and purse. Um, and then I just designed this. You know, this is two women. And I just did this in mind with my sister. Just, you know, just something me and my sister. And it's like a little dock. And they're looking out on the ocean, y'all. I just, I just thought it was so cute. So I just made it and put it in there. Um, then I have a, a track what you expect. That dashboard. And I just have dashboards in here with the um, notes page. I haven't written anything in there. Um, then I have my planner girl. And here's here. This is where I plan on kind of journaling, I think. And some days are just, you know, <laughs> blah. And then my Starbucks dashboard. And these um, also came from Digital Dash Box for July. And then my favorite position is CEO. And then another one that I made. And this is, if y'all on my YouTube, y'all know what this is. This is my YouTube um my banner on my youtube and i just printed it out on um clear paper and laminated it and i just put a clear i mean just a white dashboard so you can actually actually see it and i thought that was so cute and so neat i like it um and then here is um this starts my budget section i just did a lv dashboard here and then like in the a5 it's it's kind of the same thing it's just have the brown lv background it's the same thing same exact thing and then here i just made um a lv cash envelope and i just put my name here in gold i'm just playing around with it and i thought it was kind of cute and i did do a clear um, backing and then I have my $1,000 manifestation money here and then I just made a um, envelope and I just put LV on there in gold and then I also created a um, a thing for my to keep my sticky notes just so I can have sticky notes with me at all times you know it's not very thick if you guys can see that and um i want to say i purchased these these sticky notes from dollar store the dollar store and i just kind of rearranged them on here how i wanted to actually fit this card to fit inside of here and i think those are very cute as well but that is how i actually organize myself on the go i just want y'all look at this again cute i just think it's all cute y'all and it's, it's like neat and, and it's so convenient for me to just carry around um these i can i carry this one most of the time in my purse and if i'm out and about i just carry this in my arm i just hold it and, and i think it's so cute it makes me feel sophisticated too but um that is all for this video that is how i stay stay um that's how I stay organized on the go. If this is a video that you all would like to see more of, I will be making more and changing into the next month when um, it's that time. So, guys, I appreciate you all for um, stopping by and watching this video. If you're still here, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are very much appreciated. Um, just let me know what you think about, about my setup. Let me know. And as you all know, I always want you to be blessed, Queenies. Bye.